All right, 10, 12, let's get you up to date with the uh, weather. Excuse me as I adjust my uh, earpiece here. Uh, forecast is uh, still cool, but uh, we put it in quotes. We know it's slightly warmer. It's slightly better than yesterday, not by much. Uh, it is, however, getting milder over the course of the next couple of days, even with clouds coming in. We are watching uh, Thursday night and Friday. Got a messy setup. Uh, messy may be the best way to describe it. Could very well be some rain turning over into a wintry mix and some ice and uh, the timing right now it's still ways away doesn't look good we'll talk about that coming up 19 in hartford 25 in new haven 28 in groton temperatures are uh, a little lacking but they've been on a fast warm-up with a lot of sunshine there's been a little breeze it's, winds are still coming out of the north and the shoreline's been feeling just a little more of a breeze than the rest of the state so the numbers real feel wise have been down here look at groton the wind chills at nine 12 in windsor locks 14 up in the quiet corner so it's not great obviously it's February 1st, tomorrow, Groundhog Day. Do we wrap up winter early, according to our furry friend, or do we keep it going? Hmm, stay tuned. Cloud and radar picture looking good. Across the board, it's fairly quiet. You go, oh, nothing to worry about for the next couple of days. No, incorrect. There is a front right here. You can pick out this little band of clouds right there. That's your dividing line between uh, warm air that will be uh, really moving up the temperatures over the next couple of days and uh, the cold air right behind it. And where they meet, they're gonna cause some trouble, not just for us. So warmer forecast, but it's still fairly cold, especially with that north east northeasterly wind. You're gonna see the clouds kind of roll in. There they are. That's actually a good thing. Tonight, it's gonna get the temperatures mild. Now, hey, what happened to the nothing going on? I got some moisture along this front, and then you got this area of low pressure right there. So by the time this gets here, eh, it could be some rain, however, there's another system developing, a second area low pressure right along this frontal boundary. And look at the, uh, at least what the guidance is depicting. Wednesday night into Thursday morning, there could be ice all the way down to the Mexican border in Texas. That is pretty extensive. They don't get that too often in Texas, and that crippled them. Uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Arkansas, in through the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, this could be a real doozy as we go towards the end of the week. By the time it gets here, it's rain for us Thursday late in the p.m. hours into Friday. And as that second low gets here, it may, with that cold air, it may change it over into some ice. We're going to have to watch that carefully for the morning commute on Friday. Could be tough. 36 degrees is a little better today. Dress for the upper 20s to 30. Just a light wind out of the east and northeast tonight, down to the upper 20s, much better than the last couple mornings, which have been awfully raw at the bus stop. And 43 for tomorrow, we'll take that gladly as we get the temperatures above freezing. They're going to stay above freezing for a while, so we'll thaw out some of the snow heading into the, work, or the end of the work week, and that's where that system gets here. Behind it, cold air is back. Temperatures for the highs on Saturday only in the mid-20s. That's a look at a forecast. 1016. Erica, over to you.